Welcome to today's review for the 1080p KeyFob security camera where I go over some of its functions and how to use it. The KeyFob security camera does have a nice sleek body to it that looks pretty realistic to most KeyFobs. When you remove the backplate, you can see there's a Type-C charger port and an SD card slot for memory. It does have the camera on the front with an infrared light next to it. What comes included as well is the user guide for the camera, the charging cable, and a reset key to reset the camera. When you're ready to start a recording, hold down the unlock button to turn on the camera and wait for it to turn blue. After that, hold down the lock button where it'll start a recording and to stop it, hold down the unlock button. To set it into motion activation, hold down the middle where it'll be set to motion activation mode. And to take a picture while it's in standby, click the lock button once. Alrighty, and for a quality demonstration test, I'm gonna place the key fob security camera right here on the table and see how far I can pick up. This is a quality demonstration test away from the recorder, at least about five feet away. And lastly, this is a quality demonstration test for the key fob security camera at about 30 feet away. Keep in mind all the audio and video is coming from the camera itself. And here are some examples of the KeyFob security camera taking pictures. And when you're ready to play it back on a computer, simply plug it into the computer like this. And from the file explorer, you can manage your pictures, skim through them, delete them if you need to, to make more room, whatever you want to do. Same thing with the videos. And what's also included is a date and timestamp program that you can turn on or off. And if you enjoyed today's video, make sure to give us a like, subscribe, and stay tuned for future products like this at spycenter.com.